Hi friends, welcome to Skonda Lobby. I know that this tutorial has been pending for quite a long time and you guys are waiting to see how to make your graphics look realistic. So we are going to address that right here but I hope you might have gone through my previous tutorial which would act as a baseline for or all the upcoming tutorials on this channel. So if not, please go through the description in this video and do check that out. Um, as we discussed before, we are going to change the clouds weather, the volumetric clouds weather of NVE and to try to give it a new look that I already have discussed with you before. For this, you would need the reshade that I already have on gta5mods.com. I have tried to modify it a bit and you would find that particular file in my discord which later on I would possibly uh, update on gta5mods.com. Uh, I would first want you to open your OpenIV and uh, I would want you to go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, data. Here you basically have your visual settings and time cycle files. Uh, let us start with visual settings. So I'll click on edit mode and enable editing these files. Let's edit it here and I would want to change small exposure values uh, to start with. So I would want you to search for tone mapping here. Right. So these are the tone mapping values here and you see the default values are minus three and one here. I would want you to replace them with minus seven and minus six respectively. So I'll put here minus seven and I'll use six here. Just save the file with the changes. Then we'll go to time cycles folder and you can find the clouds weather here. You need to click on edit and then change the values that I will show you. Uh, since this is an NVE file and a lot of people who are watching this video might not have purchased this mod. I'm not going to open the file and show you how to change the values. But if you have already purchased NVE, you could replace the available values with the one that I'm showing you right here. So this is basically the post effects exposure values. You need to right click on the clouds file, edit, and then once it opens, go to the search bar there and search for post effects underscore exposure. You will be taken to the particular line where you will find these three lines one after the other and copy this particular uh, entire section and replace them uh, within the uh, clouds time cycle file. Then you need to uh, search for light underscore dir underscore color which is directional light. Uh, just search them in the particular time cycle file and you will be taken to these particular lines. Um, you need to do this for both global as well as for urban. So this is particular uh, lines that you need to uh, paste within uh, global. So I'm just separating uh, them. Uh, let me try to just, okay. Now you can see all of them in a single line. So you just need to replace these values with the corresponding values within global. then these are the values that you need to replace for the urban version okay so you will have the same lines within global as well as in urban so just replace the existing values with these ones so after changes to the time cycle and the visual settings file this is how your game should look like so we'll just uh, go through a couple of uh, time throughout the day to see uh, the changes in the overall graphics with the values that we have changed. So you can see that we are trying to move from 6 until uh, the sunset and night. So now we are going to change few values in the ENB. If you are using an entry to mid level graphics card then change the values based on what I am trying to show you. And if you have a high-end uh, graphics card, then let the values be as it is uh, by default within this ENB. 
So let us open that and I'll show you what all you have to remove uh, from this ENB to make your game a bit more smoother. So we will uh, basically remove the bloom here, uh, distortion, uh, then again the bloom, uh, we'll remove uh, occlusion, uh, mapping. Uh, so these are basically the settings that will uh, make your game smoother if you have a mid-level uh, kind of a graphics card. So somewhere around RTX 3070 or 3060 kind of cards or even from GTX series uh, possibly. Next click on color correction and we'll change the brightness values to 0 0.8 and we'll also change the gamma curve to 1.2. So you can see basically the brightness has been reduced a bit. Um, now I'm going to change a couple of uh, values for which uh, the ones we chose are better. Next we'll go to sky, scroll down to sky intensity day and change the value from 1 to 3. You might have seen that after changing it, the car's reflection and the overall lighting has changed. Then we'll go to light natural and change the value of direct light intensity day to 1.5 here. Then we'll go to light curve and we'll change the value from 1 to 1.3. Then we'll uh, select direct light uh, desaturation day here. So we'll just search for desaturation day and change the value to 0 0.2. You might have seen a variance in the day lighting, but I would uh, like to change the time from 6 to a bit more further uh, around in the day to show you how it uh, looks after changing these values. Then we'll open ENB, go to uh, ambient down intensity day, change the value to 1.5 and go a bit further down to saturation. Uh, let me search where it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not there. Yeah, the one uh, that you see here, directional ambient saturation day, change from 1 to 3. Then we'll uh, go to vehicle, uh, the one here, and it's 0 0.850 right now. I would like to change it to 0 0.800 for slight reflections and I will try to make it 1.6 here. Uh, I think the remaining can be same as it is uh, or was in our previous tutorial. Now let's go to ENB lens here. I have selected medium uh, of cloud that basically comes as default but you can select low or high based on uh, what kind of graphics card you use. Then uh, uh, we'll have selected 0 0.4 for previous tutorial. You can make it 0 0.33 as I do, or just make it 0 0.4 or uh, accordingly, uh, whatever you like. So let's keep it 0 0.4, yeah. I would like to play with cloud speeds here and change it to 1.3. So it will make the clouds uh, move a bit uh, faster than what they normally do. Next I would want you to go to ENB effect and just scroll down a bit. You will see an option called win getting enabled with a checkbox there. Uh, if you untick this particular thing, the sky becomes a bit light. So just see. So the ones who like darker shades for the sky can actually enable it. Um, I would prefer basically to untick it for this particular tutorial. So let's just keep it the way. Just save it so that your settings are not lost. And then press shift enter and back to the screen. This is what uh, the entire look is after implementing it. Now let's try to apply our cloud reshade here. And this is how it looks overall. You can see how the looks are. Now let's try to drive a bit throughout the city and see uh, how it looks. So this is how your game should look like after 
making those changes that I told you and after you apply the reshade uh, I hope you like these graphics just look at how the light uh, hits the roads and the colors possibly on the markings which are more uh, white right now as opposed to yellow and you can see the uh, uh, the, the, actually the colors of the clouds there which are more uh, white towards the borders uh, I think NVH has done a better job right here but when I try to apply that reshade uh, right out of the box uh, in version 1 I saw that the clouds had borders which were actually yellow so I wanted to eliminate that and uh, make the uh, overall appeal look a bit more uh, bright if you might have seen the first video of where I showcase the reshade um, it appeared a bit darker right a lot of people complained that it was a bit darker we'll try to now move on from 9 to 14 okay and you can see the change just see how the color of the lighting has changed so that is what we had tried to achieve here and with the changes that I have made to the reshade so the previous version is already available in GTA 5 mods.com that you can download and use it but then um, with these new changes you will see that things have uh, moved a bit so we are now in the desert area where Trevor stays and you might have seen that we changed the values for both global as well as urban so they change throughout these different places and we have used different values for both the places so that uh, they match the corresponding areas where we are trying to do the gameplay. You might have seen that the uh, graphic looks a bit different when we were in the city as opposed to this area which is uh, more uh, on the outskirts in the desert, desert area. Um, do let me know in the comments what you feel about uh, this changes after you have implemented them and if you would be happy to see more of similar uh, graphics mods and tutorials. Until then, take care. Peace.